Today we're going to talk about pricing, which is the most popular question we receive on a daily basis. And what I'd like to do is break the pricing structure down based on each service. So I'll start off with our refinishing service. Probably the number one question we get on the phone is how much do you charge per square foot? And I like to tell our clients it's not always as easy as just giving somebody a price over the phone per square foot. And here's why. We have to look at a number of variables to determine that price per foot. The first and most important uh, variable is probably the current condition of your floor. So if your floor is cupped or crowned or has a lot of maybe some wax buildup or where we're going to run through a lot of different sandpaper belts and so forth. So we have to look at that condition. We need to determine like how much effort is going to go into getting this floor flat again and getting the existing finish roughed off of the floor. That's the first and most important thing that we're going to look at. The second thing, um, obviously square footage is important. It's a, it's probably, you know, next to the condition of the floor the you know also the the top variable so we want to look at the total square footage that tells us how much product we're going to use you know how much finish are we going to need how much stain how much sandpaper will we probably go through how much effort labor wise so square footage is important but it's not the only uh, factor uh, the layout of the floor so if it's a big open space so we can sand big open spaces a lot more efficiently than we can sand smaller, more confined cut up spaces. So that's a lot less edger, perimeter work, or hand work. So the layout has a lot to do with the price per square foot. Another important variable is, are you looking for any sort of customizations? Are you looking for a specific color or custom color? Are you looking for maybe a custom finish? So we want to take in, if it's just a run of the mill, simple uh, stain job with dark walnut and water-based urethane, you know, that's pretty easy. So we can handle that a lot differently than if we're going to use some sort of custom finish on your floor. So that's something we need to take into consideration. And then also the location of the job. You know, we spend a lot of time loading up our van, gathering materials and driving to the job site. And each of these jobs probably requires four to five visits, depending upon the size. So that's four visits there and four visits back to the shop. So the location of where the job's located also has has some importance. So when you factor all those things together, we're probably gonna arrive at some average price point of $5 a square foot, let's say. I think that's probably pretty accurate. On the low side, maybe four. And on the high side, it could be as high as 10. Now we do have a minimum. So we have some pretty detailed job costing reports and we do track our labor per job and we've arrived at it. what is uh, our minimum cost to come out no matter the size. So our minimum is $2,000. And so if you have a 50 square foot area, it's gonna be $2,000. And if it, that minimum does cover up to about 400 square feet, anything from you know, zero to 400 would, would, would probably fall into that minimum range. So there you have it. That's a breakdown of how we price out our refinishing service. It's not always as easy. Uh, you know, if you call us on the phone and you say, hey, how much per square foot? I can give you the average. I can tell you what, where we normally land. But, you know, um, there's a chance that we may come out and it could be a little bit higher than that, just depending upon all those factors I just listed. So hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully it shed some light and gave you some insight into how we price out our jobs. So if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, you can find all of our contact uh, information on our website. Thank you.